that purbuleria uh, has a characteristic of solea, where it's it's laid back, but it still has a, a more pushing forward kind of feeling to it. It has a certain um, degree of excitement that pulls forward. Now, the tonality of solea purbuleria is in A, as opposed to solea that's in E. Notice the, the dynamics here. There has to be a crescendo and a release, you know? One, two, three. I'm building up to the three. I'm not just going one, two, three. It starts soft, you know? of rasqueado, starting with a three finger, four figure, going into a four finger, five, five figure rasqueado. So it's one, two. So the two, the second beat is a five stroke rasqueado. So that, like that it has a, a kind of a rounder sound and less square. So that's kind of a little bit the more progressive element in this particular pattern. So it's one, two. This one is also anticipated. This six here, and then the six is not played. It's ignored. It feels like it's always pushing forward, and the bass line is always catching up from behind. So it has like this pushing forward kind of feeling to it. All right, let's just check it out again. Again, pay very close attention. The, the chords that I'm playing are very, you know, in the left hand is A minor seven and G minor seven. But the key, the precise key of what I'm doing in the right hand, when I'm arpeggiating, how I'm arpeggiating, and then how I bring out the melody in the middle of an arpeggio and pushing forward and so on. Again, it's all in the music, but uh, see if you can pick it up like that.